dear mm -hmm. brothers and sisters, yeah. the situation in the border of Ukraine is something which we breathe 24 7, not knowing what the next move would be. While we have full faith in Akhrobish Borho that he will shield all the Jews who are in Ukraine, at the same time, we have to be cognizant that some of the Jews must do some moving around in order to stay away from the center where Chaz Sholem war can take place and move more to small localities that's more spread out in the countryside. Some of our friends, Yedidim and Haverim, moved to Lvov, which is very, very close to the Polish border. Number one, there's an airport there in case they have to evacuate. Number one, it's even by even by bus, it's only a few hours right to Poland, which hopefully will be a much safer place. All these and some of our Talmudim and Yedidim moved to uh, out of town localities, as we would call them, small towns where hopefully war is not going to get there. All these facts and the moving involves numerous, numerous financial expenses. And we must make sure that that should not be a hindrance at all to those who are there and they should feel free that they can do whatever they need to in time of need. I therefore plead with each and every one of us, men, women alike, brothers and sisters, to offer every assistant, assistance you can and in that schus, the Akhodesh Borho will see that we really care for one another. And we all know that the schus had Tzedakha, in the merit of Tzedakha, uh, during World War II, Kedoyle Oilam said that American Jewry was saved in the schus of the Tzedakha that they gave. Akhodesh Borho should help us to live happy lives, especially now in the Trufa around Purim, when a Hapachu, we will all merit and get Yeshua's and Simchas, and give us all happy and safe lives. And we should see the Geula Shleim of Amen. Amen.